Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tell if your bird's nails need a trim and how to trim them. So this is Elvis here. And I have realized that his that last time I trimmed his nails, I may have forgot to trim one of them or didn't trim that one enough. All of his nails I kind of lift it off of the surface of my desk. They're not touching it. But on one toe, on one toe, the toe itself is barely touching the surface. It's the nail that is, is like lifting the toe off the surface um, of the thing. And that means that nail's too long. And Unlike Clicky's nails, these nails are not clear. These are dark nails, not light nails. So it can be harder to trim a dark bird, dark nails for on your bird. Um, now most of my birds have had the light nails. Um, Clicky and Featherweight did. Cassie did not. She had dark she had dark nails and click and now Elvis has dark nails um so I'm going to distract him from the mirror come here I put my hand over him because he's a little fidgety um all these nails compared to this nail See? Now this one is the one that needs a trim. Now, I have never believed in restraining a bird, like holding them in a towel while trying to trim their nails. Um, Featherweight and Cassie never had their nails trimmed, and I only trimmed Clicky's nails about 10 or 15 times. Um... I trimmed his nails like once a month until I got a special cut until I got um the sand perch. Then I trimmed it every other month and then he died like three months later or so. Um so um I have experience with trimming nails and I have trimmed Elvis's nails. This will be the fourth time I've trimmed his nails, so let me show you how I trim his nails. So, um, you guys probably will not have the best view. So I'm just going to tilt it a bit. Let's see how that works out. Okay, step up. Okay, so now, um, if you guys can see that. I am just going to trim that and I'm going to see how he walks and now the nail itself is lifted up off the surface. Good. That is how I trim my bird's nails.